Hello, today I will talk about compensating wage differentials. Compensating wage differentials are about the relationship between wages and job attributes. Some job attributes might be the degree of riskiness, dangerousness, or just simply the unpleasantness of the work. And we would expect that wages would be positive or related to the inherent dangerousness of a job or its riskiness. All right, so let me begin. We'll do a problem here. Let's assume that all workers have a utility function given by the following equation. U is the utility, W is the wage, and here I'm taking the square root of it or raising W to the one-half power. X will take on the value of 1 if the job is dirty or dangerous. And X will equal 0 if the job if the job is clean. One other bit of information. Let's assume that the wage on a clean job wage for a clean job equals $36. What we want to do with this problem is we want to find the wage in the dirty job and then find the compensating wage differential. So we want to find two things. First thing is the wage in the dirty job. And then the second is the compensating wage differential. I'll just call it CWD. Okay, so to begin, let's calculate the utility of someone working in a clean job. If someone's working in a clean job, their wage is $36. And given this functional form, we're going to have to take the square root of it. And since this person works in a clean job, x is 0. So it's just a matter of solving this. And we see that somebody working in a clean job will get a utility equal to 6. So now let's find what's going on in the dirty job. A little space here. So in the dirty job, utility will equal 6. We're trying to solve for the wage. We don't know what that equals. And since this is a dirty job, x takes on a value of 1. So what we're doing here is that in equilibrium, workers should be indifferent between working in a clean job at a wage of $36 or in a dirty job with some wage what we're trying to solve for. So in equilibrium, workers should get the same level of utility. So solving for this, adding 1 to both sides, and then squaring both sides, we get the wage in the dirty job to equal $49. So that's our answer to the first question. We found the wage in the dirty job, it's $49. So again, a worker will get six level, six units of utility working in a dirty job at a wage of $49. Likewise, a worker will get the same level of utility working in a clean job at $36 an hour. So the last thing is a compensating wage differential. And the compensating wage differential is just the wage in the dirty job minus the wage in the clean job, and this equals $13. So the compensating wage differential is $13. Workers must be paid an additional $13 an hour to take on the unpleasantness of working in such dirty conditions. I hope you found this video helpful.